my name is Lars and I've been deaf my entire life. Well, I learned to lip read before my parents figured out I couldn't hear. So when I lost my hearing at 18 months, I started to learn to lip read. Dance is just like my way of expressing myself when I can't really express myself with words. I kind of suck at expressing myself with words. It is it's like an outlet um, because you get to come in and whatever's happened in school or at home, and you get to come and kind of like just leave it out there and just like move your body. And so I think that's a really cool thing. You don't have to talk. Um, you can just go out there and move. And for a split second, you know, just watching our dance, you forget what you're here. And so I think that's what's awesome. It kind of like sets the playing field even for everyone else. Because again, when you're out there and you're watching people dance, I, I forget. I just see people moving and dancing. And so I think that for the art means so much because you don't have to talk and you just have to feel the music and just go for it. There's two ways this can go. One way is that people keep saying like, oh, you're a deaf dancer, that's so great, keep it up. And I was just kind of like, partially obligated to do it. But on the other hand, I just kind of fell in love with ballet and just how, like, I just like, ballet is my favorite. So if we're talking about dance in general and like how much I love dance, I just love ballet. So working with Lark just from sophomore year, junior year, and senior year has grown so much. Um, one huge thing that I loved that I got to be a part of was, so everyone gets to do a solo on the team. And again, watching Lark do a solo has just grown so much. And during the time, um, Lark made it to like the top final solos. And that was a really cool thing, just because no, no one else knows that Lark came here. And so I think it was a really awesome experience for Lark to be able to perform with everyone else and got to do the solo and got it made it to the finals. I think that was a huge accomplishment and really like a big boost of confidence too, because it is scary to go out there and being with everyone and you know, it, no matter what though, I, I forget because Lark is so good with it that I, I honestly forget that Lark came here. Um, but I think just watching that personal growth inside and outside of dance, I just see it, I, I've just seen it come a lot from sophomore year to senior year. So it's just been a really, it's been like a pleasure to like be along for that ride. I was born deaf, but I was also born to be a dancer. I couldn't really understand what the teachers would say most of the time, so I just kind of guessed. But I got straight A's because I would go home and study the textbook two to three more hours than other kids would, and I only know that because I would ask other kids how much they studied and they said, oh, I didn't study for this. But that's because they learned it in class. I took my first day of IB English and I dropped that day because I had no idea what was going on and I knew from the second I stepped into that classroom that I was not gonna be able to get all the information I needed because the conversation was just like going way too fast. And I knew then that I wasn't gonna stand for this anymore, but on dance team, I just kinda wanna make it last. I just kinda don't want it to end because I'm never gonna get the same experience ever again. Like, I'll go to college and I'm not gonna have this dance family there. And that's just kinda weird to me because I've known this team and the people on this team for at least a year, if not longer, and uh, it's just so weird. I'm just gonna miss it so much, I know, <laughs> but I wanna graduate. Yeah.